10 Best Places to Visit in Scotland Scotland has so many beautiful places to explore that you could easily spend a long time exploring everything this wonderful nation has to offer. But what if you're short on time and looking for inspiration on all the best places to explore in Scotland? Look no further! Hello and welcome to Paradise Planet! In this video, we have rounded up a list of 10 fantastic places to explore while in Scotland. So grab some popcorn, sit back, and enjoy! Number 10 among the top 10 best places to visit in Scotland is Clackmannanshire. This is Scotland's smallest country, a little countryside haven near to Scotland's most important historic moments. Clackmannanshire, located between the Trossachs, Stirling, and Perthshire, is full of surprises and beautiful places. One of these beautiful spots is the Oak Hill Hills. The Oak Hills Hill in Clackmannanshire are a 25-mile-long range of steeply sided, round-top hills with stunning views extending from the Firth of Tay to Stirling. Also, the Alva and Dollar Glens, located at the foot of the hills, are a perfect place for leafy forest walks with waterfalls around every turn. This is unquestionably the spot to go for a peaceful evening stroll. What do you think? Number 9 entry on the list of best places to visit in Scotland is Isle of Rassy, Northwest Highlands. Rassy means Isle of the Roe Deer and is an island between the Isle of Skye and the mainland of Scotland. This tiny island just off the eastern coast of the Isle of Skye will capture your heart. Rassi is a unique island that's worth the visit. In fact, it got a recent award as one of the best islands to visit by Condé Nast Traveler. On clear days, admire Skye's Coolin Mountain Chain and Outer Hebrides. Visit the Isle of Rassi Distillery or Ascend Duncan, the island's highest point. And for food or drinks, you can head straight to Rassi House Hotel to enjoy delicious meals. Number 8 on the list is Abafaldi, Perthshire. Abafaldi is a charming and vibrant highland Perthshire town and it takes the 8th entry among the 10 best places to visit in Scotland. The town is located on the River Tay, Scotland's longest river and is home to the Burks of Abafaldi, made renowned by a national bard, Robert Burns. In 1787, Burns wrote a poem about the bricks and you can walk the footpaths for two miles after the falls of Munis, where you will find spectacular views. The town is also home to the Duars Abafaldi Distillery, which is accessible all year. Why not stop by for a tour and a dram? The Heritage Exhibition is well worth a visit if you want to learn more about John Dewar and Sons. You can also enjoy the unique experience of Abafaldi Water Mill, a bookshop, cafe, and gallery housed in a listed former water mill. After your tour and explorations, stop by Thyme Bistro at Erichel to taste the flavors of fine Scottish cuisine with an international twist. The restaurant takes pleasure in using fresh, high-quality ingredients. With an average price range of $12 to $48, US you can enjoy a tasty or cold lunch option. Number 7, Dundee. Dundee is Scotland's sunniest city and this year, Scotland's sunniest metropolis shines even brighter. Dundee, Scotland's fourth biggest city, has it all. From museums and art galleries to urban beaches and open-top tour buses, the city has plenty of options for your next trip. Did you realize it's also a UNESCO City of Design? Yes, it is! In light of this, starting in April, the Tartan Exhibition will reveal the history of Scotland's most iconic fabric. This is a great time to learn more about how this textile had influenced the fashion, film, and art sectors around the world. 
right up to the present day. Also, Discover Life in the Antarctic with Captain Scott and his crew on the RRS Discovery at Discovery Point. In fact, Dundee has undergone a major renovation which resulted in the creation of a new public art museum with a 360-degree panoramic view of the city and the river Tay, as well as the brand new art installation, Gaia. While here, you can explore the museum's newest feature. Also, with the latest renovation, get ready for an intense 360-degree audio-visual experience over Dundee and the River Tay that will transport you to 1901. Hear tales of one of the most heroic voyages of exploration ever undertaken will be uncovered. With so many cool sights to see, there are plenty of ways to travel in style while in Dundee. The open-top bus tours offered by Explore Dundee are ready to transport you on a whistle-stop tour of the city. And from April to September, you can hop on at some fantastic locations such as the Macmanus, Verdant Works, and the City Center where you might recognize some statues of famous comic book characters. So why not switch from four to two wheels? Hire a bike from the Dundee Cycle Hub, which has a variety of electric bikes. Number 6. Invaclyde, Ishar and Firth of Clyde Islands The blissful isles of Cumbrae and Butte are both within an hour of Glasgow, each with regular short ferry crossings. This region of the West Shore is brimming with exciting things to see and do. Ayrshire is home to genuinely beautiful coastal towns that are worth visiting and getting to know. Here, you can explore miles of trails, golden beaches, and crystal clear waterways with activities ranging from fishing to outdoor swimming, treetop trails to paddleboarding, mountain bicycling, sailing, and world-class golf. You will also find an outstanding variety of accommodation, including some of the country's most coveted hotels and spa resorts, as well as a world-renowned natural larder brimming with the highest quality food and drink. This blissful isles is definitely a place to visit for an unforgettable stay in Scotland. Number 5. Caithness Highlands Caithness is an historic country in extreme northern Scotland, facing the Atlantic Ocean and the Pentland Firth on the north and the North Sea on the east. Caithness is the place to go for fiery sunrises, colorful skies, and remote grandeur. This untouched and beautiful part of North Scotland, which is part of the renowned North Coast 500 diving route, is a place worth exploring. Did you know? It has the greatest concentration of brooks and ancient monuments in Scotland. There are also some amazing geological features here, like the Walligo Steps, sea caves, and cliff-edge castles such as Castle Sinclair Guernigo and Case Castle. Before moving on, if you are enjoying this video, hit the subscribe button for more travel-related contents and be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Number 4 entry on the best places to visit in Scotland is Dunbar East Lothian. Dunbar is a town on the North Sea coast in East Lothian in the southeast of Scotland. And trust me, it is one of the best places to visit to have an unforgettable experience in Scotland. Dunbar is famous for its high sunshine record in Scotland and a popular tourist destination due to its rugged coastline, beautiful beaches, and rolling farmland. Dunbar's accessible wide high street is jam-packed with unique local shops and food and beverage outlets. While at Dunbar, take a walk to the Dunbar Cliff Top Trail. This walk is ideal for family excursions and lasts for less than an hour. You will pass by Redstone Cliffs, a golf course, Dunbar Harbor, and down the high street where famous attractions such as John Moore's birthplace can be found. Better still hire a bike from Belhaven Bikes to explore the path on two wheels. This will cost you approximately $10 per half day. Here you can also face the chilly sea temperatures with Coast to Coast Surf School who offers surf lessons and courses on Belhaven Beach or get an adrenaline rush with Fox Lake Adventures where you can try your hand at wakeboarding and put your skill 
balance and willpower to the test on the Foxfall obstacle course. You really don't have to break the bank to enjoy your time here in Dunbar. So, number 3 entry among the 10 best places to visit in Scotland is Cairngorms National Park. Cairngorms National Park is located in northeast Scotland at the northern end of the island of Britain. This is the largest national park in the UK, so it's no surprise that it is a popular place to explore in Scotland. The Cairngorms National Park is truly stunning and there is always something going on. Who will want to miss this kind of fun? From skiing or meeting local reindeers, you will not get bored and you'll be surrounded by beauty the entire time. Here you can visit the Cairngorm Reindeer Center. You can also check out the Queen's Scottish Residence at Balmoral Castle. There are literally many charming towns in this region, but Aviemore is a good place to stop for snacks, gas, and to hire ski or hiking equipment if necessary. Number 2, Inverness. Inverness takes the second entry among the top 10 places to visit in Scotland. This is a city to adore and it should be on your bucket list as well. It is essentially the capital of the Scottish Highlands but it is charming and quaint. If you don't have much time, you could easily see all of the major attractions in Inverness in a day. But what's more pleasant about this city is that you can just wander around and explore without worrying about getting lost. While you're here, make sure to see Inverness Castle at dusk. Visit the largest second-hand bookstore in Scotland. This is really a cool attraction in Inverness. You can also go shopping at the Victorian Market. What else? Inverness is not overpriced, so if you're looking for one of the more cheap places to visit in Scotland, then Inverness won't break the bank. And finally, number one entry among the top 10 places to visit in Scotland is Falkirk. Falkirk, sandwich between Glasgow and Edinburgh, is an unusual place you should visit for a lasting impression. This is a really cool place to explore in Scotland with some really unique sights. First, there's the Falkirk Wheel which is genuinely random because it is the world's only rotating boat lift. So why not take a spin on the Falkirk Wheel? If you have children, this is an excellent place to explore in Scotland. Falkirk is also home to the Kelpies, which are truly spectacular. They are legend-based 30-meter high horse head sculptures showing Kelpies. They are a sight to behold and you should definitely go at night when they light up. Also, if you're coming in a camper van or motor home, you can stay at the Helix Car Park for $6 per night, which is ideal if you want to see them light up in the evening. So, we have come to an end. Which of these places have you visited or which of them would you like to visit? Feel free to share in the comments. Thanks for sticking till the end of this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye!